Hey everybody, um, hope you enjoyed the videos that are coming before this part, uh, do apologize for them not having any audio, it's just dealing with three puppies, you know, most of the day by myself and, you know, get these videos out at a decent time, you know, it just a whole lot easier for me to just get stuff recorded and put out, um, I did do a couple of the co-ops that came out uh, last night is when they went live along with this draw right here. Um, that's like Cloud's fifth weapon. <laughs> you know, my thoughts on it. Uh, and it can remove enemy buff uh, with a critical hit with an ability. Which most characters if if um opponents are both broken, that's like a guaranteed critical. Like almost every single character has some type of uh five CP skill that allows them to do that. And then with Hope over here, the El Blanc, which raises his own max brave and attack with active bus. Again, these are those special weapons, kind of like the Lila Edge and Amber Rod, that are still available, I do believe, yes. They're still available. You know, they're just additional buffs for your characters. You don't necessarily need them to be effective with the characters. You know, so, I mean... If you got nothing else to roll for, then I don't see why not. But if you need uh, weapons, you know, the main 35 and 15 CP weapons for characters, then um, I suggest sticking to the event draws or, or yeah, that's pretty much it. Just, just the, ev we, or the event and... I guess they're calling these campaign draws for the Cecil and and uh, Terrace. So, I mean, I did run a couple of co-ops, as you've seen from the videos. I don't know exactly what videos I'm going to put up there. I recorded a bunch of uh, co-ops, and I'll go through and pick and choose the best ones I can, can find. But uh, I was just doing them to get some draw tickets. I have not completed Milady and Ice Chasm. I'm just having trouble getting that done in 45 turns. You know, so that's why a video isn't up there on that. Hopefully, by tomorrow, well, tomorrow I'm not going to be able to record anything. Uh, going on a bit of a road trip, so... This might be the last video until Sunday, you know, but we'll see how everything goes. But I did want to do some single ticket draws to close this one out, and I need everything for these characters. Like the other event draws, mm, could, I mean, I wouldn't mind getting, uh, what's his name, Lox EX, but, you know, um, Cecil's EX would do me a lot better, and lost in, and, uh, uh, wow, 35 CP, first draw, and, uh, precious weapons will, would mean a lot more for me, especially since, you know, on that stage, Milady and Ice Chasm, I am trying to use Golov in his current state at 150 CP to try to complete that, I've also tried using uh, Onion Knight, because the boss is there, or all the enemies in there are weak to ice. So if you got some really strong ice characters, uh, Poplamo, uh, Palome, Celis, you know, to name a few, those would be great choices for that stage. You know, and I've ran it with Celis, Poplamo, uh, Onion Knight, uh, who else? Oh man, I already have that one. I need her 35 CP. But yeah, uh, just any character that has ice or can do uh, ice type stuff for them will give you a great advantage against those bosses. 
you know, and I'm really hoping for Cecil's DX. This is the main thing I want. Uh, getting plus 15 CP wouldn't be a bad idea either because I thought I MLB that, but it looks like I haven't. Um, as you saw with Prish, I do have her 15 CP MLB. I just need her 35. And no, looks like luck's not with me for those today but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed the video um if you did go ahead and hit that like button and if you want to stay see more content from me and stay up to date for when it does actually go up uh go ahead and hit that subscribe button along with that notification bell and i will see you guys later